Hey everybody, what's up? It's Zenny here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Zombies Bow Upgrade Tutorial on Der Eisen Drek. And this is obviously the Void Bow, so what I'm gonna wanna do here first is come over to this wall and shoot the purple weird mushroom thing up here, and it'll completely explode and some purple shit'll come out on the ground. So first step, you're gonna wanna go shoot that. Second, you're gonna wanna go pick up the broken arrowhead pieces, and that will obviously start the bow quest for you, the vo void bow quest. And then from here, you're gonna want to see, you're, well, you're gonna see this top left corner. The quest will be started. Now, first, what you're gonna want to do is get a good amount of crawlers because you don't know how much it'll take. You might miss. You want to bring them down to this ritual area, and over here, you'll see from the second courtyard, you'll see this purple box thing in the middle of the room. You're gonna want to melee kill one of these crawlers, preferably at the end of a round so you don't get absolutely fucking killed. And after you kill it, it will explode and the ground will just open up for you. So you just wanna go through and go to the hole and press on the vase or vase or whatever uh, with X or square. And yeah, it'll tell you that it wants you to collect pretty much a bunch of skulls, six I believe it was. So you just wanna co come from the vo the void bow, or, or like circle thing, and uh, come over to mule kick, and there's the first skull. The second one is in the second courtyard again, by the church in the right hand window sill, and same skull, same thing. Now the, this third one is in the teleporter room. If you turn right, you look in the sink, and there's another one. Now what you're gonna wanna do is just come right through the teleporter here into what people call the rocket launch site pad thing and you want to go left from where you come through and you'll see a truck and you want to just go look in the bed of the truck and you'll see another skull that's your fourth one now you have two more of the skulls so what you're going to do is come to double tap here and on the wall right beside it there's another skull that's your fifth one and the sixth and final one is in Samantha's room in the castle right in the toy box there and that is the last skull so then you're going to want to get a, a bunch of crawlers and take them back to the ritual area. And the skulls that you collected will literally attack them by themselves. And they will just disappear one by one with each crawler. So you're going to need about six crawlers unless you fuck up. So seven or something. And eventually, with a long time of collecting crawlers and charging the vase, the um, skulls will eat away at the the crawlers individually and uh finally after you'll hear here now just took a sip of water <laughs> um the vase will or the thing name or the vase will give you a name if you listen closely now you have to remember this name very very well because if you mess it up it's not too bad you can just shoot the vase again it'll say the name again but you don't want to do that so next you want to come over to these knights and just press x on them and they'll give you these symbols, Pothkin symbols here. So I remember what mine was. Mine was what Griffin or Dor Griffin. What was it? Heart Griffin Dor. So yeah, you just want to come over to these knights and press X on them in the uh, order that you gave them, and then you want to collect as much Pothkin symbols as possible, because the every one you get, it'll appear down here in the ritual room. And what you're gonna want to do is shoot every one you got, every ritual piece you got from the knights. And you want to make the name that the vase gave you in the first place. Just got to deal with this fuck. Alright. So I shot one. And then I shot two. And the third one is this moon looking thing. And yeah, that's my name. So once that is done, it will just take a little bit to charge what is inside. You don't have to kill zombies or anything. You just have to wait a pretty long time. And once it's done, you get this arrowhead as easy as that. Not the arrowhead, sorry. The whole arrow. And like every other bow upgrade, you're going to want to take it down to the pyramid sort of area. Put it in the void bow box. And again, like always, you're just going to want to charge the absolute shit out of it. It takes a while. Not, okay, like one round if you don't run 16 like this. But um, yeah, just charge it up like so. And then you just hold X on the arrow with your normal bow. And it'll upgrade it quite fast. And you just take your beautiful new bow, the Void Bow. I think this is probably my favorite one and easiest to get, weirdly. And uh, this is pretty much what it does. I'll show you right here. Boom. 
Yep, pretty dang. Um, so yeah, that's the Void Bow, guys. If you liked, please subscribe, like, and share the video. And uh, I'll be coming out with the last two upgrades and probably gravity spikes. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.